LeBron James may be the best basketball player in NBA history. Now, I'm not going to get into stats. I'm going to talk about sheer skill, talent, and what he is doing right now. So, we're not going to get heavily into stats like I usually do. So, here we go. LeBron James, 08-09. LeBron James led his team to a 66-16 and record. 09-10, he led his team to the 61-21 and record. 2012-2013, he led his team to another 66-16 and record, winning 27 straight games, the second longest winning streak in NBA history. But it's not, it's not even just about that, and it's not even him going to the finals five years in a row and winning two of them. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, he lost four NBA finals, so how can you say he is the best player of all time? Listen, an NBA championship is won by a team. Let's give this for example with Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson brought his scrub team to the NBA Finals, and LeBron did the same thing in 07. But did you really think, even if you put Michael Jordan on that team, the 2007 Cavs roster, do you really think that Michael Jordan would have won at one game? No, he would have got swept just like LeBron. You don't believe me? Go look at Michael Jordan's playoff stats um, before they had Scottie Pippen, before they had shooters like Steve Kerr on the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about surrounding your superstar with role players. Like, I'm not really a big fan of surrounding superstars with other superstars. Like, like you know, like it's different if you're like drafted together, like Westbrook and KD. That's different, or like Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Jamal Green. That's different. But when it's like players going together, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Instead, I like superstars with great role players. Um, but Again, if you want to say, oh, LeBron had to go to play with superstars to win, Michael Jordan had two superstars on his team, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen. And think about this. Think about this. This is, this is going to, like, really separate LeBron and MJ. So when MJ retired, I'm pretty sure the Bulls still won, like, 54 games. And I'm pretty sure they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. And I'm pretty sure that's the year that the Knicks made it to the Finals. I may be wrong on that. But I know they won like 50 plus games and they played in the Eastern Conference Finals without Michael Jordan. Now let's look at LeBron after he left Cleveland. They didn't even make the playoffs. Let's look at LeBron after he left Miami. They did not even make the playoffs. This is what I'm saying in terms of value. Like, there's no one in NBA history, man. No one in NBA history like as valuable as LeBron, as good as LeBron. Like, that just proves it right there that I'm talking about. And plus, they had Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. That just proves it right there. Like, when MJ left, they were still a 50-plus win team, one of the best teams in the league. But when LeBron left, the Cavs team was awful. They didn't even make the playoffs. They had, like, one of the worst records in NBA history. When LeBron left Miami, they didn't win the M They didn't make it to the playoffs either. Now, let's go a little bit more in depth. Now, the reason why I'm comparing him to Michael Jordan is because everyone said Michael Jordan's the greatest player of all time, right? I don't have a problem saying that. I mean, the dude is amazing offensively, amazing defensively. He fucking took over in the clutch all the time, and the dude won six out of six, right? Yeah, so obviously an amazing player. But again, if you want to say Michael Jordan is better because he won more championships, then I guess Robert Ori is better than Michael Jordan. Big shot Rob, he won seven NBA championships. What about Bill Russell with 11 NBA championships? Then I guess Bill Russell's the best player of all time. Man, a championship is won by a team. So anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about. Let's let's really go a little bit more in depth on MJ versus LeBron. So. LeBron James and MJ, who's a better scorer? They both were terrible shooters, both terrible shooters. If you look at it, MJ took more shots than LeBron though. LeBron's a more efficient shooter because he has a higher field goal percentage. But Michael Jordan had a better mid-range shot. Then LeBron James was unguardable. They were both crazy athletic. So in terms of scoring, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it to Michael Jordan. Why? Because he averaged more. So you really can't say anything about that. So we'll give it to Michael Jordan. Let's go about rebounding. Obviously, it's LeBron. Passing, obviously, LeBron. Not, not, not in just terms of assists. First of all, LeBron James is one of the best passers in NBA history. Now, he's not a Michael... I almost said Michael Jackson. He's not a Magic Johnson, but he's still one of the best passers in NBA history. Let's look at defensively. Now, obviously, Michael Jordan won Defensive Player of the Year before, and obviously, LeBron should have won numerous years. But the thing that separates LeBron James from Michael Jordan is the fact that LeBron James can guard every single position, and he has done it numerous times. And Michael Jordan can't do that. I don't care what you say. Michael Jordan cannot guard a big man. It's just, it's that, it's that true. Now, yes, Michael Jordan was one of the best perimeter defenders in, the, in NBA history, but he cannot guard a big man. So, in my opinion, that's what really separates LeBron apart, is the fact that when LeBron left said teams, those teams went down to the shithole. Obviously, Miami's back up and running now, but the year when he left, they went down to the shithole. 
the same thing happened with Cleveland. But when you look at Jordan's scenario, the Bulls were still winning 50 games. I mean, come on now, you know? I mean, obviously Michael Jordan is the best player on that team, but he had some superstars on that team. Come on now, you know? So obviously LeBron wouldn't have won an NBA championship without Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. So I'm not going to say, oh, LeBron's better than Jordan because, you know, LeBron would have won without um, D. Wade and Chris Bosh. Hell no. Just no way LeBron would have won without D. Wade and Chris Bosh. But there's also no way in hell Michael Jordan would have won without Scottie Pippen. Just look at this. Look, Go look at his playoff stats. Just please. He couldn't get past the Pistons. Just please go look at that. So at the end of the day, I would just like to say that Michael Jordan is a little overhyped. He's obviously, in my opinion, the second best player of all time. But when you have people like Skip Bayless saying a 50-year-old Michael Jordan could beat LeBron one-on-one, -on -one, it's just it's ridiculous. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I believe LeBron James, when it's all said and done, will be the best basketball player of all time. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And as always, stay awesome and keep moving forward.